Hey guys, Clay Stevens here with 6XD. I'm pretty excited that I get to be the one that gets to show you through our new product. Many of you guys have been asking for many years on if we can come out with a transaxle for mid-engine cars, more specifically for GT40s, and this is it. So let's walk into some of the details about this particular gearbox. First off, remember that this is 6XD and we machine everything here in America we get all our parts here in America. We inventory everything that we make so that you guys can, uh, can have shorter lead times to receive your products, whether it be a new build or replacing uh, items, worn out items or items that just need to be replaced. You guys are racers, we are racers, and we know how, how, uh, how important it is to get parts when you need them. So we take that same idea with this gearbox as well. We're gonna inventory everything we machine everything in-house. As you can see how beautiful this thing is, uh, everything's machined from a billet chunk piece of aluminum. You've got different sections here, but everything is machined from billet. So as, um, as you can tell, it's beautiful. This, the, we take the same pattern that you've seen in all of our standard 6XD gearboxes on the pocketing and everything. It looks like jewelry. This gearbox is a five-speed sequential transaxle gearbox. It also utilizes a quick change in the rear end so that you can change your rear end ratios very quickly. It uses our standard same same strong gears that we've been using in all of our 6XD gearboxes. Uh, same designs as far as the way we hold the shafts with bearings. So let's take a look at some of the features in more detail on this gearbox. This particular one that we have right here is has Porsche 934 flanges on it. The, it will be available with 934 or also 930. Up here we have a speed sensor that's actually looking at the pinion gear. So if you change your rear gear ratio or you change uh, your ratios inside the gearbox, this is downstream of that. So you're actually seeing the speed of your axles uh, by looking at your pinion. Same way as we do in our standard gearboxes, we have an oil pump. This one is internal. This is gonna be the outlet. It's a dash eight AN fitting that comes out of the gearbox. It's gonna be very, very high pressure, um, high volume and high pressure uh, oil flow. And that's gonna be routed over here to an oil galley that is actually running down the whole length of the gearbox and a spray on every gear and also spraying on the bearings that need to be lubed. So going to this side of the gearbox, you can see this is the port that's gonna be oil in. This is what's spraying down or this is what pressurizes the oil galley that's spraying on all the gears. These ports on the side are actually uh, inspection ports. So you can take these out and actually see uh, dog rings for each gear, like your first and second dog rings, third, fourth dog rings, and fifth and sixth dog rings right here. So you don't have to pull the gearbox out of the car, or anything, if you think you missed a shift, if you think you've rounded the dogs off, you can take a look right here simply by pulling those out. So you can see the front here, we have a modular bolt pattern. As I mentioned, the GT40 is gonna be the primary application for this gearbox right off the bat. However, we will have modular front plates that will replicate, say, a Tremec uh, T56 front plate and or a Muncie bolt pattern. So there's tons of bell housings out there that will adapt that, get you from there to, say, an, an LS, a Coyote, uh, you know, old, a small block Chevy, small block Ford, any of those things. And then we can also adapt to uh, many other motors as well. So looking at the back of the gearbox, still beautiful. The, the rear cover here is actually covering quick change gears. These are larger than the standard quick change gears on the market. Uh, so they'll be super strong. So we'll have a lot of ratios to be able to quickly change the gear sets right here. You got eight bolts, take this off, pop in another gear set, and now you've just basically changed your ring and pinion ratio. This is the final ratio drive that is driving the ring and pinion at the front of the gearbox. So therefore, it doesn't change anything inside the gearbox, it just changes how fast you're spinning your ring and pinion. So therefore, um, you can gear up, gear down. You don't have to worry about resetting your ring and pinions. You don't have to rebuild the whole gearbox. Other features to look at, this is our electronic solenoid for the reverse lockout, neutral reverse lockout. Same thing that we use on our standard 6XDs. It works great. Instead of having cables and messing around with cables, you simply you know, plug and unplug electrical Deutsch connectors. So that's nice and clean. This is our rotary sensor that looks at our 
um, uh, shift barrel so that you can tell what gear you're in. Uh, as standard, we would we supply the um, digital display that goes on your dash that lets you know what gear you're in. So one of the coolest features about this transaxle that you're going to see above all the other ones, apart from the fact that this with our standard gears, they're super heavy duty, they're strong, they're reinforced real well. Of course, we're not going to put a ring and pinion in here. After all of the other gearbox being super strong, we're not going to put a ring and pinion in here that's not going to last. Most transaxles out there, if not just about all of them, have a just a, a standard um, bevel gear design. However, we teamed together with the guys at TubeWorks. Jason at TubeWorks, he's an absolute genius. He has perfected the ring and pinion design, in my opinion, and he manufactures them in a non-conventional way in order to make them way stronger than, than uh, pretty much everything else on the market. He's got crazy, crazy um, results out of this ring and pinion design, and that's why we chose to go with it. This is actually a, I think it's a 10 point, 10.6 inch ring gear. Um, and just to give you a little idea or look of the way it's designed, these are actually machined on a five axis machine because you cannot machine them in a conventional way because there's a flange that goes all the way across the rear of this thing. So the teeth cannot deflect. So it takes that idea there and also incorporates that as well here on the ring gear. There's a flange all the way across here connecting all the teeth together. So therefore, they cannot flex. I mean, the, the efficiency of strength there is incredible. And on top of that, this is a high ployed offset gear, similar to, say, a nine inch rear end. Obviously much stronger, but uh, same idea. You get way more strength out of your ring and pinion when it's a high ployed offset versus a standard bevel gear. So, yeah, Jason at TubeWorks has got some crazy good results out of this ring and pinion design. He's got. Um, they're in tons of different industries and they're leading the fields. All the top cars are running them. Anything from all in NHRA, LDR, uh, 5,000 plus horsepower pro mods, um, ultra four, um, short course. These guys are used to going through gear, uh, gears and, uh, ring and pinions. And with his new design, these guys are now seeing up to 10 times the life from these ring and pinions. So this ring and pinion, even though it's a 10.6 inch, as far as the ring gear design, the center of it is made to bolt to a standard nine inch differential. Right here, what we have is a wave track. Um, and this is what this gearbox is designed off of. That's what we're gonna put in the first couple. But then obviously it's a standard nine inch. So we can use uh, the, the many, many that are out there on the market. All the aftermarket uh, differentials available can fit in here. All right, guys, that pretty much goes through all the details of this uh, brand new gearbox. Pretty excited I got to be the one that shows it to you. Um, I've been looking at this thing for a long time on the computer and uh, to have it sitting here right here so that I can see it, you guys can see it and go through it in detail is actually uh, pretty awesome. So um, glad that I got to be a part of that. Also, uh, thank you guys, all you customers, all you guys that support 6XD. Thank you guys. Um, you know um, you know when you need uh, the best products out there and you need it now and you need to depend on it for a long period of time and uh, have people that you can answer, that will answer the phone when you call uh, to provide support as well as to get orders out the door, to get parts out the door to keep things in stock. Obviously, that's why you guys trust 6XD. So I really appreciate that. We're excited to be um, the help that we are in the market, in the racing uh, industry. Uh, we are racers. We know what it's like to need something. We know how important it is, how much money's on the line by the time you go to a race weekend and how you need parts and you need them now. And so um, thank you so much for all of your support.